Hey, we got a call that uh, someone got in a physical altercation. When did I ever get in your face like Don't want to kill everybody and steal everything. I'm the ultimate criminal for doing that. Exercise you the don't rights. get to stop people and take video of them going I didn't to stop you. you I didn't yourself. stop you. Go that on about your day. Bye bye. Can you take a picture with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Thank there you. you go. Good day, sir. <laughs> you don't need to touch me. Let me get get away from me, bro. What the fuck Let is wrong with face. you? What is going on over there? We are protected by the Bill of Rights. No, Bill of Rights is not taking picture of me. Absolutely. No. Oh. Leave us alone. I'm not touching, I'm not doing anything to you. You're the dis ultimate criminal. Good morning, everybody. We are here um, to do a revisit of one we haven't been to in a while. I don't know what's going on with my beard here. Um, I think my barber cut it a little weird. Um, do a revisit, make sure. Things have calmed down since our last time being here. We had a lady jump through the poles last time. Crazy. But yeah, see you soon. Damn, she just started up everywhere. She's like running to people. Fair response. Hope your knee gets better, man. How'd you hurt it? Oh, okay. All right. Be safe out there, man. Are you taking people's pictures? Yes. Why? Um, better question. Why not? What? Why not? You want to assault somebody? Assault Take somebody? How dare you? And assault somebody that's a crime i didn't assault anybody you're the one that struck me bullshit after you fucking assaulted you struck me. me bullshit i got it on 360 camera you let's play it step back or i will lay you on the ground right now do it no you listen you asshole step back or i will police, lay you on the ground call the police step back or i'll lay you on the ground the police. you don't get to walk up and assault people you're the one that touched me bullshit I'm gonna assault somebody. It's Step up. back. No, on camera. No I got it on camera. Go away. No. Get away. No, from I us. won't. Don't Who touch the hell me. are you? Go Doesn't away. Matter. Don't touch me. Somebody yeah. call the police. They already have in there. So if you want to wait, go ahead and wait. He walked up and fing grabbed my wig. Crazy, are, do you have three yeah. brain cells left? Three? Oh my. What? God. You seem to have three brain cells left. Oh, what? Ah, oh, improved it right there. I'm not saying it again. Oh, you won't say it again. You can't say it again? No, I'm saying I said you have three brain cells and then you proved it. I have three grandchildren. Jesus Christ. You're really proving it to yourself, man. Hey, You're simple the behind one you. That struck me. Not if you After you pulled first. my wig off, you fing asshole. Yeah. Assault. Yeah, that's Get an extension here, of bit, himself. Bro. That is assault. Don't don't fucking I'll do fucking that. I'll fucking punch you, man. Touch you. I get it. That is a throwing too, gum bro. at somebody is assault. Shit, bro. Threatening to throw out. something at somebody is assault. They're gonna call the cops. Don't, they're gonna tell us to leave. But why are they filming? Maybe if you ask us, we'd answer.
don't bother us. If you don't care, don't care. Leave. No. He said don't take stuff. Exactly. Don't That's how it should be. Uh, how about I just tell the police? Okay, thank you. I gotcha. Please don't do that. They scare me. Looks like he dialed those magic three numbers. He's gonna get an education now. Uh, we can't share that while we're working, but yeah, we're taking video of everybody you today. Shouldn't. What do you mean? It it's an exercise. No, this is my pr my private right. So that's you, part of no, what we teach you, people. No, no, you have to listen. You if you want, to if ask, you want me to listen, you have no, to listen. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. You don't have to ask anybody. That's not a thing. To. No, you don't. Not in public. Well, this is America. We live in America. Oh, you telling me? Yes, and we are protected. Okay, no, stop. Don't. Stop. You, we are protected by the Bill of Rights. No, Bill of Rights is not taking picture of me. Absolutely. No. The First Amendment allows us okay. to do this. Let me take a picture of you too. Take your pass down. Freedom of press. Okay. You don't get to tell us how we get to exercise our rights. Yep. Take your, your oh. Let me take a picture of you now. You definitely don't get to tell us how to exercise our rights, sir. Nobody does. Oh yes. You guys are taking advantage of the freedom of this country. Taking advantage of the freedom. That's yes. absolutely what we're doing. You taking advantage. Take Why are you not taking advantage of the freedom? Why should I take advantage of you? I have a job to do. Oh, so do I. This is my job. Have a good day. Bye. This lady called the cops on us for taking pictures, but she's the one that pulled up in a camera car. Now she's blocking the driveway. There's the line. So you roll up filming me without my consent. Get mad that I'm filming. Film me getting uh, attacked. Nice. And then call the police on me for it. When did I ever get in your face like... You pull up in a camera car that literally records everything and then you want to complain about being recorded by assaulting almost? This guy came in a Tesla and he's upset. Little whiner. <laughs> Behaving like a little girl. Now he's recording, he wasn't before. Instead of trying to attack people for exercising their rights, you should learn to respect it while you are rolling around in a car that literally records everybody without their permission. He ain't that disabled if he feels like he can accost people. He's just pretending. He's pretending. He does. He, he literally is pretending. That's not his. That's not his. Disabled people don't run around trying to assault people. Yeah, some old man ran up and he actually yanked my wig off, okay. or tried to, and so I pushed him back, and he claimed I battered him, but 
that was after he battered me, obviously. Okay. You guys all good? You need oh, yeah, I'm attention? fine. No, I'm fine. But okay. obviously, cool. he's not allowed to yank part of my clothing off. Or oh. spit at people. In and then he, then he put his gum out and chucked it at him. And Okay. You guys um, need medical attention? Or no, 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 no. I didn't call you guys. Some, uh, Someone else. Some, no, yeah. No, we're here yeah. just to make sure everyone's all good. The, the lady who was helping the crazy old dude. Yeah. Okay. If he was still here, I would have pressed charges because, yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate you guys exercising your rights. Uh, and you I appreciate you saying that. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay. Yep. Cool. You need anything from us? I do not, actually. If I could get the call number, though, just so that I can maybe get the call later and yep. figure out what was said. So whoever that was didn't even call. It was like a passerby. Yeah. It, well, no. It was, what it, it was a lady yeah. that was standing with. They were together. Kind of. You guys need a release from people. I work in TV. So we actually do not. You are incorrect in public. You're you incorrect. Are, you are wrong. Sir, you, he you will tell you. you he will tell you you are incorrect. Huh? I can talk to you over here. Yeah, see, I don't like this at all. You don't, you don't have, have to. to like it, but guess what? It's part of life, and you what can't are you do doing anything about it. I want to know because you're. I'm going to put it everywhere. It's you're going to be on TikTok. Why are you doing it here? Why are you? Here? Because I'm allowed to. This is public. But why are you taking video of me here? Why are you because I'm allowed to, and you don't no, get to know no. right now because you've been rude. You yeah. don't have to. You can't give me a reason. I don't have to. Unbelievable. Welcome to America. We don't owe each other answers it is to really anything. Unbelievable this is not sure. the American way. It's unbelievable this absolutely is. The answers. exercising of our rights is very important. You don't get to demand answers. And, and you don't get to tell people can. how they get to exercise their rights. You don't rights. get to stop people and take video of them going. I didn't to stop you. you I didn't yourself. stop you. Go on about your day. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do your business. You're fine. You'll live. Jesus. Number, and then that's the event number right there. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Do you need anything else from us? No, you guys have been fine. I mean, uh, honestly, your whole department's been exceptional to us, so it's fine. Yeah, got no issue with that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. If you weren't here, I bet you would have grabbed me too. <laughs> Thanks right. for, thank you for being here. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Yep. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Is that bonehead in there arguing with you guys now too? Jeez, he's so anti-American. Sir, you don't get to dictate how people exercise their rights in this beautiful country. Why don't you dig up your beard? We don't have to. We don't have to. Just like you're allowed to grow one, I'm allowed what, to have what does that one. Say? Religion what? Religion is poison. Oh my goodness. You you're from Satan has your Wow. Heart. Satan has your and if heart. and if Christianity is how you're operating, you're doing it all wrong. Oh, oh you're judging me? Absolutely. Absolutely. Bless you, brother. I hope you come to Christ and in six. Are you guys supposed to be Christians? Because that's saw something on his shirt. No, we're not religious at all. That says religion is poison. Oh. Why don't you guys take off those masks and beards if, you, if you're... Why don't you if you don't that bonehead in there arguing with you guys show us now, your face. too. Show us Jeez, you're so right now. Beard. You, you're like a terrorist right there. Uh, you guys okay. are dressed like terrorists. Take them out, you coward. Take mm. it off. Take it off, cowards. No. Take off your glasses. Take off your, take off your shoes. Why don't you shave? That's only for commercial purposes. You do not know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I'm in the business. Okay, but you're wrong. I'm in the you business. You don't know about public I've been filming. I've in the business for 40 years. You I know don't know about, about public filming. You are wrong. Learn your rights. Learn your rights. They're very important. Don't run into that person. You need to be careful when you're backing up. Hey, coward. Bro, you pay attention to driving. You almost hit him twice hey, now. Take off your beard. Pay attention to the hey, road. Coward. Pay attention to the hey, road. You... Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, man.
He was driving right towards you. I had to stop him. Where are you going? Just taking a video. Why? What are you doing? What? Why are you here? Why are you mailing a suspicious package? Oh, An O? <laughs> what? Why are you guys videoing? I don't know. Why are you here? Oaf. Oaf? Did she call me? She called me an oaf. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at 16 um, non-carers have walked by, and only two people have been a little mildly upset, nothing crazy. So a fun fact about Irvine, Irvine is known as one of the safest cities in America and happiest. But in 2017, a global, international sex trafficking ring was uh, broken up here. Right under your nose, guys. I need to take a power washer to these doors. I don't want to be on the video. What's that? I don't want to be on the video. Um, to be taken off, you'd have to call our manager if you want the number, but otherwise, you'll be on it. Just taking video and pictures of everybody in public and the peaceful exercise and of our rights. Nothing nefarious. Don't let her scaremonger you. No, but I don't want to be posted anywhere either. It's getting posted, but...
You have really nice hair, so that works. The patrons are getting out. What happened? We're recording everybody today, ma'am. Oh, why? Exercise of our First Amendment rights, very important in this country. I'm an attorney, I agree with you. All right. Well, thank you. First, no, second attorney in existence. We had one in uh, somewhere in LA or San Diego. Second attorney in existence to respect it. Yeah, we just do a peaceful exercise in the rights. Nothing nefarious. No, I got yeah. you. <laughs> Appreciate well, it. I was just like, <laughs> just standing here. It's all good. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Pink packages. <laughs> Those are very pink. <laughs> so we are at 36 um, people that have passed and not cared what we're doing, and three people that have, one that attacked. You have a good day, man. What are you, what are you filming? Uh, just a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights. Reminding people are always being filmed in public. Some law enforcement officers have said, oh, the camera didn't catch that first contact and that's why they didn't press charges. Um, I turned the 360 camera on now as a precaution in cases where I sense something's about to happen. And it's usually the people that come up, but they are a little too nice or angry. Oh, why are you gripping his meat like that? No one wants to see that, sir. It went out of style 40 years ago. Fuck. Not my type, I already said that. You have a good day, sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Yep. So what is this for? We just do a peaceful exercise of our First Amendment rights and also remind people you're always being filmed in public and if you want to demand privacy, you have to self-create it. So what do you do with the footage? Uh, we disseminate it online, different different websites and stuff. What, what websites? Uh, we don't disclose that while we're working, but yeah. So you video record people, you don't tell them where you're going to put their information at? Absolutely, it happens every day. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. You guys have a good day. How's it going, man? How you doing? 
you got? Just doing some public filming and the peaceful exercising of our rights. Hey, I That's like all. that. Are Thank you. Filming you. a documentary? Uh, we, we disseminate our experience while exercising our rights to the public, so similar. So it's like a daily documentary. Just on people going to the post office? Uh, we, it's not just post office. We also do city halls, public, things like that. Huh. Just people being in public. Yep, and how they react to people exercising their rights. Cool. I yeah. like that. People freak out too much about that. They do. Yeah. Every day. We just got attacked a few minutes ago, and thankfully we kind of put him in his place. So. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, so it's unfortunate. You have, have a beautiful day. Thank you for being so kind. Yeah. I think they're keeping an eye on us. You're fine. You're part of the shot. We're filming everybody coming in today. You have a good day. You have, going, you have a blessed day, sir. You too. Keep sharing that kindness. Hello. What's that? I said hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> I love your shirt, by the way. Uh, yeah, we're taking a video of everyone today. Yeah, no problem. Unless you did something wrong. Never. <laughs> then you should be good. Exactly. Did you ask me you want to take a picture of me? Do I have to? Yes. It's a private. Can I take a picture of you? No. Oh, too bad. I don't have to ask. Okay. Sure, you can take over. It makes sense. Yeah, it does. It's our first amendment right. You have a gorgeous day. You as well. Thank yep. You. All right, guys. We are at 70 passer buyers today that just minding their own business don't care that we're here um, or have been really kind to us so <laughs> you have a gorgeous day ma'am yeah yeah um and so most of them act like that like you know wonderful um it's only a very few people we tended today we tended tended today we got them a little early uh, we got four people right off the bat that hated us being here, but only one overreaction and one 911 call out of 70. Don't take a picture of me. Uh, we have to. Then why you have to? What's that? Why you have to? Because we're doing a video project. For who? Uh, we can't share that while we're working, but yeah, we're taking video of everybody you today. Shouldn't. What do you mean? It means it's an exercise. No, this is my pr my private right. So that's you, part of no, what we teach you, people. No, no. You have to listen. You if, you have want, to if you want me, me to listen, you have no, to listen. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to... You don't have to ask anybody. That's you not have a thing. To. No, you don't. Not in public. Well, this is America. We live in America. Oh, you're telling me? Yes, and we are protected. No, you stop. don't. Stop. You... We are protected by the Bill of Rights. No, Bill of Rights is not taking picture of me. Absolutely. No. The First Amendment allows us okay. to do this. Let me take oh, a picture yeah, of you too. Right, take your pass down. Freedom of press. Okay. You Free don't get to tell us how we get to exercise our rights. Yep. Take your, your oh. Let me take a picture of you now. You definitely don't get to tell us how to exercise our rights, sir. Nobody does. Oh yes. You guys are taking advantage of the freedom of this country. Taking advantage of the freedom. That's yes. absolutely what we're doing. You taking do. advantage. Take Why are you not taking advantage of the freedom? Why should I take advantage of you? I have a job to do. Oh, so do I. This is my job. Have a good day. We'll make a living, my friend. We'll make a living. Bye. Yeah. She in a hurry to mail those. When people say you guys are taking advantage of your rights, how is that a bad thing to take advantage of the rights that we have in this beautiful nation? It's not. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise.
How you doing? You have a good day, ma'am. You have a beautiful day, man. Mm -hmm. How you doing, man? You have a good day. Thank you. Yep. You have a good day, sir. Love the glasses. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Have a good day, man. There goes Vin Diesel. Wonder if he brought his charger. You are for? What happened? You text you are for radio, right? Uh, radio? Yeah. Uh, you, you, uh, house project. Oh, so what we do is we do a First Amendment auditing. So we just do public filming oh, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have yeah. a beautiful day. You too. Yep. You have a beautiful day. So. Yep. Have a good day. You too, ma'am. Like, you know, what are you guys doing, man? What's up? What are you guys doing? We're just getting video of everybody coming in and out today. Just today? Uh, well, we do go to other post offices, but today we're here. So you guys got nothing else to do? Just... I guess you can say that. picture of people? Yeah. All right. Nothing else better to do than exercise your rights. Exactly. Yeah. Have a good day. Not anymore. Yeah. You can go to Pops. Uh, not my type. Yeah. How's it going, Santa? <laughs> it's I'm going, doing okay. It's going good. Very nice. Yeah. Might want to sit on that later, though. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Read my mind. Uh, you have a good day, though. <laughs> he gave me the finger, but he was laughing and smiling about it, which is good, I guess. Shit. 
she spotted the impact. She's analyzing him. She's like, what is that man doing over there? Here, let me see if I can get a shot of him. Damn, she's still analyzing. She's collecting data. What is going on over there? Should I go over there? Taking some video, all the beautiful faces coming through. It's just an exercise for our First Amendment, right? So we just remind people you're always on camera pretty much from the moment you leave your house in the morning. If you want privacy, you gotta create it yourself. Got it, so this is like a statement. Yeah, pretty much. Not that you have to go out with a mask on or cover your face, but if for some reason you don't want to be recorded one day, that's what you got to do because there's no privacy in America anymore. That's all we're here for. Are you at other locations? Oh yeah, we do this all over the country. We, we've been to Florida and back. We, we do it all over Southern California. We're planning a trip over to Michigan here in a few weeks. So yeah, we, we do this all over the place. I'm not singled out. Oh no, no. <laughs> Everyone is. <laughs> yeah, we just we capture life as it happens. Sometimes we have good interactions like this. Ninety-five percent of the time we have good interactions like this. And there's five percent of the time people walk up to us screaming at us or telling us. And that's that, those are the people we're here to educate that we are allowed to do this. Alright. Well, good luck with your statement. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck with your mail. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, huh? They're over there telling each other that we need to get jobs and I don't like that hybrid sounding Jeep. Jeep should not be hybrid or electric. Okay, you have a good day too.
Guys, just so you see where I'm standing, I'm standing against the rail um, out of the walkway. It is about an eight foot wide walkway. And so I'm barely taking up about maybe 14 inches of it total. How you doing? I like your, uh, your YouTube video. <laughs> Thank you <channel>. very much. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on here, but do you want to offer them help? Um, yeah. She just set it down in the middle of the parking lot, and I'm like, um, I'm confused. <laughs> and then she just dropped, Jesus. And she doesn't want help? We did offer them help. Can you take a picture with you? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, thank there you. you go. Good day, sir. <laughs> you wanted a picture with me, that's funny. I got a fan. I finally got one fan. No, I have a lot. That's good. I appreciate all of you. LBO. Always coming after the action. Bro. That middle finger looks beautiful. No, no, we just do public filming in the peaceful exercising of our First Amendment rights. That's all, nothing nefarious. That's cool. Yep. You have a beautiful day. When did I ever get in your face like that? You pull up in a camera car that literally records everything and then you want to complain about being recorded by assaulting almost? This guy came in a Tesla and he's upset. Little whiner. I think you need a tampon change. Behaving like a little girl. Now he's recording. He wasn't before. Instead of trying to attack people for exercising their rights, you should learn to respect it while you are rolling around in a car that literally records everybody without their 
permission. He ain't that disabled if he feels like he can accost people. He's just pretending. He's pretending. He does. He, he literally is pretending. That's not his. That's not his. Disabled people don't run around trying to assault people. What are you doing here? Huh? What's that? What are you doing? I'm well, taking pictures. Well, we're taking pictures of the salt stuff. Too. What are you doing? I'm doing nice stuff. Oh, nice. Have a good night, nice Stanford. Yeah, beautiful dog right there. How you Hello. How you doing? Good. That's good.
want you to take my picture. You're in public, sir. What's that? You're in public, sir. But who are you? Why are you covering your faces? Let me I, see your I face. Don't, I, sir, you don't need to touch me. Let let me get get away from me, bro. What the fuck is wrong with face. you? I, I don't have to show you my face. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. I'm trying to touch me, bro. Be careful with a short man coming behind you. Try to grab my beard. Sorry, uh, I prefer not to be videotaped. Uh, we're taking video of everybody today, sorry. Why are you doing that? A uh, peaceful exercise of our First Amendment right. Something that's very important in this country to be exercised. I love your jacket, keep me as safe. Uh, yes, but uh, yeah, uh, my nephew said, Deputy Attorney, I often take videotape of crimes. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get, someone's gonna get angry and they're gonna try. I once okay. did that to someone. They thought they had a reasonable expectation of privacy in a public area. Yep. And what happens then, they, they tried to beat me up. Well. That's understandable. We've, well, we've been through that many times. Right, so you got to be aware that that's potentially likely to happen. Right. Yep. And so you got to be able to call the police and someone and say that uh, we have a right to videotape. Uh, you don't have a reasonable expectation you of privacy. Sinister, no worries. We have a radio for that too. Hey, so we have. Man, come right. behind you. Try to grab so my beard. Be careful about that. Yeah. Because, uh, 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 some of these people are pretty violent. So why are you, are you relaxed. Relaxed. covering so your relaxed. faces? You are pretty uh, asshole. Relaxed. Back up. I'm gonna shove that camera up your ass. You wish you could. You don't have the balls to try. And he was just seeing, he was just seeing what was going on. He would, if he knew we were robbing, he would have just went away and let him do it. Go put your tap on. So for a Cadillac converted, he shot him and he killed him. They'll do all sorts of things. Yeah, but crime can happen anywhere. Whether or not this will trigger something, if they're going to be triggered by this, they're also going to be triggered by a hundred other things that same day. I like you doing that, actually. I'm for you to do that. Exactly, because we we do it for people like you who have been assaulted for doing this. Right. So you were doing it for work, and somebody tried to attack you. I was getting a someone that was he was he was trying to threaten me. He was trying to threaten me and. Because I was, I was noticing he was doing some crime, uh -huh. and I was saying, "Hey, that's crime. Uh, you can't, uh, you can't do that activity you're doing. Uh, you're doing a dealing uh, alcohol to minor, right. buying alcohol in front of a store. It's despicable. Mm -hmm. And then when the store is closed, then you're waiting out here. You got all this alcohol. And this was this African American gentleman who went to a university. Wow, you didn't even try to succeed. After you went there and studied, you went straight to doing this." <laughs> You didn't make any attempt to try to earn a living honestly at all. So I was telling you, what's, what's the matter with you? All right. And then he said, I want to beat you up, I want to kill you. Oh, yeah, no, that's not fun. Right. And then he meant it. Mm -hmm. And I once encountered somebody who was apparently, he was, um, uh, he was getting very upset in a gas station because I was in the restroom. I had some uh, diary issues. And then so I said, hey, calm down, I'm going to call. And apparently the, the gas attendant told me he was... He had all these tools for uh, cutting catalytic converters. He was this African American gentleman that was crazy. Oh wow! And he said, "You call the police. I'm gonna beat you up before I'm dead before that time." And then I tried to pull out a camera. Are you videotaping me? <laughs> and he goes, "No, oh, I'm not bad videotaping. Look, I did." But he meant it. If, if I had videotaped him, he would have beat me up. Right. And the police are gonna come 45 minutes later. This that is a, that's true. It was a violent African American guy, and I, and I talked to him again. He said he knew that guy. He has all these tools for robbing. He's going around robbing catalytic converters. Well, he's a crazy man. So you can encounter people like that are crazy. Oh yeah, there's not a few. You can go ahead, sir. It's yeah. just human nature. But be careful, right? There's some violent people that'll beat you up because they're afraid they did some crime and they don't want you videotaping them. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why we moved. You know, in a pack. Yeah, so be careful. Be ready for that type of stuff. Thank you, sir. Appreciate oh, yeah, we, the, we always the advice. You can go ahead, sir. Right. So I just want to warn you about that because that guy was just violent and he meant it. The Irvine police are going to come 45. They're crooked and corrupt, just like uh, every other many different uh, judges. And they're really not trying to enforce. They're the red police. They're not any constitutional police. 
I'm warning you, they're, they're an illusory protection. They're on this, they're being paid off through all their charitable, the Irvine Police Office Associate, all the banks donate all the money to them, and they just let all, they look a blind eye to all the drug dealing. Well, what we've found is that more often than not, police take an oath to a constitution that they've never read or understood. Right. They're, they're the, 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 the banker satanic entities have, have infiltrated them long. They're just, they're not a constitutional police force at all. It's a joke. And if, if they, if you call them and they'll, they'll say nothing's wrong. And you show a videotape of someone beating you up. Nothing's wrong. I'm not going to enforce anything. Potentially that, that might happen. So, um, so you better be careful about that too. Mm -hmm. Because the police might be, they're very corrupt here also. So that's also what we try to do. We try to hold the police accountable. Right. Make sure the transparency is being shown. Right, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. And I, let me give you a little tip on, on what to do in the future. Mm -hmm. um, go to, a, to an officer's title records. If they've been bribed, you'll see all these, you'll see the guy's salary is, is X. He makes 10000 a month. Yet you got loans. You got $10 million in loans. So 30, 30, uh, 30 years times 12, so 360 by, by 10. So that's a payment of close to ten, tens of thousands of dollars, but you only make 5000 a month. Right. How are you paying that? You're not. You're racketeering your, your your position to protect crime. And then some of these uh, police officers, they double as real estate agents. So, <laughs> so after they evict you for foreclosure fraud, they sell your house. So that's how in your face it is. Right. And, and you know what? If people were like you, this, this would have been stopped a long time mm -hmm. ago. We're trying to put a little vent. Right. A little vent in the system. So, right. So, so I'm on your side, but just be careful about that. Thank you. Be ready to defend yourself against somebody who's crazy. Oh, right? yeah. yeah. yeah we, we always are ready. Right. <laughs> so, uh, if you know how to disable someone if you have to, oh, yeah. you got to know that. Because, uh, um, like here, <laughs> here, <laughs> or right, they got, they got a nerve section right here. You knock someone out right there. Right. There's nerve points yeah. underneath yeah. here. You'll disable them, and uh, so I guess and then right here you're really disabled. You knock someone right there. But the, okay, but take care. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the advice. Uh oh, that's not a negative. Huh? I want to take your picture. Sorry? I want to take your picture. What is this for? Just taking some video of everything that happens today. Oh, okay. Yeah, just exercising our First Amendment rights. I suppose so. Get that selfie.
You're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's going on? Just doing some public filming and the oh. exercising of our rights in a peaceful manner. That's oh. all. <laughs> you have a good day, bro. Be safe on that thing, man. Uh, oh, shit. My bike's over there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Safe. Seen a lot of people get hurt on those things. Open the door for people, just get ignored. <laughs> yeah, they just at you. People are so rude nowadays. What are you doing? Why are you here? Did you get permission to come to my post office? What I'll do is I'll give you some advice. <laughs> What yep. you should do, but if you have an officer that is uh, not following the Constitution, say you want to yep. speak with a supervisor. We do. And right, the supervisor yep. has liability for the officer. Yep. If the officer's if the officer is, is found violating constitutional rights and the supervisor it takes the action to correct it, the supervisor will have to pay for the officer. Will be liable. So then the supervisor is always going to correct the officer. In most cases, that's actually happened. We only had a right. couple exceptions, but. Yeah. And then then you have to, not to escalate it to the lieutenant, the, the watch, then the. Uh, <laughs> And then, then do the chief. Yep. And then the chief was job will be on the line and they'll do something about it. Yeah. And then what you do is just, just go That's to That's how the, the system should work anyways. Right. The and then you part. go to the you go to the officer's title records, look at the title, get a photocopy of all the loans that are outstanding, that are not and then ask them what his salary is, and then and then file a complaint directly with the city council that this officer is being is bribing, is bribed. And uh, he has loans on terms unavailable to the public that he can't pay for with his salary. 
and uh, or he, he lied, he said that he was married when he was single or so forth on the loan application. And then, uh, and then when you do that, the officer realized, well, you know what you're doing. And we'll then enforce the laws. And so, uh, uh, and so I just wanna encourage you to do that. You do that with a judge also, the same thing will happen. And uh, so that's how you, when you hold someone's job on the line, that has teeth. And so that really is something that uh, will deter someone for the, with the loss of their, their, their job, employment. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Yeah, I, I support day. what you're doing. Appreciate you, man. The people that are not going to like it are the crooks. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to find out who the crooks are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the crooks won't like it. Honest people don't mind. Wait, sir, I got some questions. Here. Open your face. You're recording my videos. Open your face. I can see you, buddy. Open your face. You fucking open your face. Why are you recording my, my face? Video? My face isn't closed. How am I supposed to open it? I don't know who the crooks are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the crooks my face isn't like closed. Uh, Most people don't mind. Wait, sir. I got some questions for you. Sure. Um, are you a professor? Are you? No, my nephew's a deputy attorney. Huh? I've been fighting. Um, Corruption and it, it's just so bad here. And then okay. what I would and get, is, yes. Then I get police officers that they they they'd arrest me saying I, I was trespassing when I'm on a public area. I have a video camera showing I'm the, uh, I have a public uh, on a, always on a public street. And then, oh yeah. And then then what happens that uh, then I had to bring I had to bring a, a, a civil rights action 42 USC 1983 can't enforce constitutional rights because uh, I belong to a discriminated class uh, that. Um, I'm somebody that uh, supports the Constitution, or I'm an American citizen. And then I had to do that, and I brought it to federal court, um, and I said in a hearing, I, I showed the judge I'm being charged falsely for being trespassing here. I look at, here's video tape evidence showing I'm in a public place the whole time on a sidewalk, and this neighbor falsely said I was on at his front door. And then the problem is that the bribery, the insurance company is the one that's insurance companies have been infiltrated by the mafia oh so when you are falsely arrested you got a civil rights action for one million dollars false arrest false imprisonment and guess who's gonna have to pay for it the city's insurance company well you know what the mafia considers that as that get their their loot they get in they ward and then what they do they loot the insurance company to build gambling casino golf courses and so they don't like somebody coming in and, and taking away their gambling casino loot you say you're an attorney? Uh, my nephew's a deputy attorney, but, but, but I'm, I'm somebody that's a pro se, uh, pro se, uh, Dependent. Uh, civil rights, uh, pro, uh, <laughs> civil rights. Uh, but, but, but my question is about the sweater. You see San Diego? Did you go there? Are you alumni? Uh, no, but I, I support the United States Constitution. Awesome. I mean, so. And, uh, and right now we're in serious trouble. Oh, yeah. California is this, this uh, communist, it's the bat battleground state. Uh, there was an honest FBI agent named Carl Prussian in 1950 he wrote the book The California Communist Dynasty and he, he infiltrated the Communist Party. The Rockefellers planned to turn communist California all the way back in the 50s. Oh man. And so they, they did it. They infiltrated all the judges all the way up to the top of the CFR members. So, 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 that's a, so it's a murder and death RICO enterprise now, which is communism. That's why in 2008, the foreclosure for our bank at your property. If you say, I'm a judge. If you say one word, I'm going to remand you in custody. If the law is A, I'm making law B. Bank gets the property. And, uh, then, and then you appeal. And then you get another CFR member. They make the laws all up on the bench. Mm. There's no justice. Mm. Well, justice is bought here. Right. Yeah. And then, the so you got, if you got a lot of money, you can buy justice at this point. Uh, I don't think you can outdo the banks. They can counterfeit that money out of thin air. Well, that's just because they got more money. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think anybody can 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 go do a bidding war against them. Yeah. No, nope, I don't see that happening. It'll never happen. I have another question. Um, Team USA, did you watch the Olympics? Uh, I, I didn't because uh, that's just a, a tool of a distraction. 
It's just to distract you like football nice. while you're being poisoned with all the GMOs, all the bioweapons, the glyphosate, all the all the Teflon in the in the in the uh, water and the food. Mm, the water and the food. And then and it's just there to distract you with this this stuff uh, from that and uh, instead of. Uh, so that uh, you 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 don't take any action before it's too late. So it's it's a tool for pe sheeple to not take action. Sheeple. Oh, what is that term, sheeple? Can you define that? Sheeple is uh, people that uh, don't realize that that uh, a constitution, our freedom, was was fought by uh, by people who fought to the, for their and and gave their life for it. Freedom isn't free. Mm. Oftentimes, people mistake it as free. Right, and that. This would have happened, the state now would have happened now, back all the way if there weren't the original people fighting to establish their independence. Our founding fathers. Right. And they had the integrity. They couldn't be bought out. That's what made this country great. And so then you get all these communist people coming from Central America. Well, you know what? You're a, you're a coward. You're running away from... Well, you know what? When they, you come here, you're going to bring all that here eventually. So what, what do you think you're going you're gonna to establish, you're going to get freedom here? Your same cowardness is going to eventually result in their takeover over here. And well, so... And that's, and that's where I always say, you know... So why are you we, coming over here? We as a people can't continue to be complacent. Right. Because when we're complacent and people aren't out there exercising the rights and they're not out there challenging the laws and they're not out there working to get things overturned, we live as complacent right. workers. And the reality, and what I found what out is if us. you fight a judge and the judge's job is on the line, they're always going to back off. Yeah. The risk. It's too real. I'm not going to do is This guy's going to document my bribery into the annals of jurisprudence forever. My name is going to, with all these bribes, <laughs> I, I literally now can't, I, can, I can't get appointed to another position. I'm ruined. Yeah. And this guy knows exactly what it's doing. I gotta pay my tuition, I gotta pay my, I gotta buy, no, I don't want this case. I'm not gonna do it. So if you do that, you, you eventually do get justice. You hold them accountable. Right. And so, and so the, the net effect was that when I came around and did, did that, all the judges respected me, they were afraid of me. <laughs> so they didn't wanna do that. So I would always get my constitutional rights in the end as a result. And then when I did that a couple of times, the police officer tried to falsely charge me. I removed him from and then I quickly showed him that you're, you're wasting your time. You're never going to get anywhere with me. And then I brought a civil rights action, charging him $10 million, got him fired. Then once that happened, then, uh, then all the police, no, no, we can't do it with this guy ever anymore. <laughs> Can I ask you another question? How do you feel about um, COVID-19? That was entirely a fraud. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the COVID-19 was a bioweapon created in a laboratory. And it was a tool to, to murder so many people by putting them in this, this uh, ventilator death trap. And so many people died as a result. So that was, that was essentially uh, a, a depopulation where so many people got depopulated because they were given this fake fear of this COVID-19. And uh, there was a, one lady who was this veteran who went into this hospital and uh, and what they found was that she saw all the lying. This person came back negative and they, they put her in, in, in a New York hospital as, as putting COVID-19. And then they put her on a ventilator and they, they executed her. Jeez. So this was entirely a fraud. And it was a depopulation. And the, the people that identified this, the people that stood up and said, this is a fraud, you're, you're spreading diseases intentionally and uh, causing autoimmune disorder, when uh, you're, you're telling that uh, writing spike protein into the RNA is not going to write permanently to DNA is false. And these were some physicians, uh, I think um, uh, some MIT professor, professors were saying this. And, uh, and uh, so and, uh, and many whistleblowers were saying this and uh, it was entirely false that you're causing these diseases intentionally. But the constitution has already been subverted. The pharmaceutical industry has this exemption. They can literally kill you and then then you're limited to a, a arbitration hearing. They do whatever they want. Right. So there you have it. This was all planned as, the, as a method to essentially 
communism is, is, is the Rothschild Khazarian Mafia hiding behind the state, killing and murdering everybody and stealing everything. And you can even go to Tex Mars as Christian pastor. And what he did, he showed Mao Tse Tung's government were not even Chinese citizens. <laughs> they were, and then Cindy Shapiro, the minister of propaganda, was a CFR member. He's not Chinese. Solomon Adler, the minister of the central bank of... What is this? He's not Chinese. So it's clear what's happening. Cindy Shapiro's right. The Great Leap Forward, we've got to kill everybody. And they were not even Chinese. So it's obvious, sir. Communism is the Rothschild Khazarian Mafia hiding by the state, killing and murdering you. And we got that right here, right now. And the reason why is because this country is the one standing in the way of one world government under UN control. So they're putting all their efforts to destroy us. So I have a question. Nationwide, we have a housing crisis. Which was manufactured because, uh, because uh, the counterfeiting operations, Blackstone, uh, which is, it's, it's openly in your face. Jacob Rothschild, is the kingpin of the Rothschild Khazari Mafia, owns it. So he's literally using all this counterfeit money to steal every house in your face. Owns what, Blackstone? Uh, yes, Blackstone. Blackstone's an idiot that's buying every house in California for 20, 30% of, of its market value. Well, not just that. So here's the thing. So we live in one of the richest nations in the world. You would think we could build houses fast enough so right. that the demand wouldn't reach what it is now because now we have so many people being priced out of any housing at all. Absolutely. And so we're being criminalized homeless. also. Gavin Newsom issued an executive order, route up the homeless, put them in jail. So in other words, it's legalizing their crime of counterfeiting, stealing, and criminalizing the victim. <laughs> That's quite the statement. That's absolutely what, what's going on. Yeah. It's plain and simple. You're being... You're, you're being, your constitutional rights are being, you're being criminalized and you're, they're legalizing their crime. If you don't fight it, then that's their plan. And no one fought it and that, that's exactly what they did. Gavin Newsom issued an executive order, arrest the homeless, take them to jail. Clean everything up. Right. So what do you think a solution, an obtain, let me ask, let me re-ask that. What would you think an obtainable solution would be for the housing crisis in the short term? Um, what I would say is make it affordable housing. That could be done legitimately. But, but they see, don't do it any Because it's so rate. much corruption. And, and, uh, and uh, uh, so in other words, just to build a, a tent in Los Angeles, all the, 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 the kickbacks, all the bribery, all the self-dealing to your own company. The impossible permit processes. Right, so then, so then a, a, a tent, you buy it at... Uh, at uh, uh, at a sporting goods store is only 50 and by the time you do that now it costs ninety thousand dollars after all the kickbacks and bribery oh yeah and if you try to buy a house you're trying to buy from somebody who bought the house 50 years ago for thirty thousand dollars and they won't let it go for anything less than a million and a half right well those people aren't the issue it's the it's the i think we've entered into a massive reseller and, and that's that's issue. exactly what uh, the uh what was that the uh and now everybody the wants program, to be a the, uh, landlord. Right. The yeah. uh, the what was that? The uh, the whole the the loan loan program. Where you get like fifty grand. Right. And you know what that that, that went to all the bankers' families as kickbacks. <laughs> it didn't go to anybody in in uh, Main Street USA. So they just they just gave more money to, so they could kick back and steal more, and none of us got any of it. They just put the headline up. Right. <laughs> So uh, until they're stopped, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. So uh, where are you, are you from the United States? Yeah, yes, I was born in the United States. My family escaped communism. Uh, so I, I knew what was going to happen here. I just didn't realize how quick it was. And have you traveled to your home, uh, your family's country of origin? Um, no, my father told me what happened is that... Uh, are the your parents from China? Uh, no, uh, North Korea. North, North Korea? My father escaped from North Korea. Are you oh, serious? Damn. Yes, he, his, wow. uh, his brother was a wealthy land, land loan already owned hundreds of acres of timberland. The communist Chinese troops were put in by the rock, rock, Rockefellers. They came and said, we're taking all your land. My father's brother said, no, you're not taking this. This has been our family for generations. So he was shot, executed on the spot. Whew. And so my father literally escaped um, south, came to the United States, and got a scholarship at uh, MIT, and then had me, and then, and then I vowed to find out what communism was all about, and I found it. All you have to do is read Alexander Solzhenitsyn, the, uh, 
the gulag and he says the same thing communism was not the russian people um uh fighting injustice it was a band of freemasons <laughs> led by the bankers <laughs> that came led by uh, uh trotsky and financed by jacob schiff the u.s federal reserve now is all that in the book yes and what he said was very crucial he said our mistake was we, we sheepishly put down our, our defense weapons. If everybody had fought when the, the, the red police came to take people to their execution, they would have bogged down. They didn't have the numbers. If everybody just, just took any tool they could make to defend themselves, they would have, they would have, they would have stopped it. But they, they sheepishly gave up all their arms and then that's what happened. Then they were something like 90 million people were, were murdered and, and you should read that book and this is exactly what's happening what's what's uh, what's happening here right now and then he, he said that there the government of Russia were not Russian people <laughs> they were all Freemasons from Europe and they were the Archaea Mafia so <laughs> so um, and where did you receive your education at by chance uh, uh, USC. USC. Okay. Yes. Do you teach there, or you just? Uh, no, I'm a. Um, I'm in the. Uh, I'm a pro se uh, private attorney general, right. and in pro per propi persona, and also I'm, I'm in the human bio field. Okay. What I want to do is I just want to encourage you, and that uh, what you're doing is uh, is uh, correct, mm -hmm. and uh, and I want to just say that I met people that have some courage and some guts, <laughs> and if you do do this, eventually. Uh, you'll, you'll get justice and, uh, and, 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 and you're people that recognize that freedom isn't free. Yeah, and so one of the things we notice, and we do this on a daily basis, and our biggest problem is that we have so many Americans that are walking around with us that have no respect to the Constitution. They don't know the Constitution. They've never right. read it. They've never opened a book. They don't even know that we have these rights. And I think that that's a powerful statement to how us as a country has created an economy of workers and not an economy of leaders right and because we've done that well we've been socially engineered absolutely and i'll give you just a direct example if uh, the uh, the banks they they are the ones that uh pay a lot of uh law school um uh, law school uh tuition to a lot of people and it's usually people like la raza Council on Arab, Arab, uh, Arab Immigration Rights, and uh, and then all these groups that are against uh, against the United States, and uh, like Rashida Talib, from uh, someone of, of uh, Islamic background, that hates the U.S., hates the Constitution, wants to impose this uh, this uh, religious dictatorship called Islam. And the caliphate, and that's just based upon my understanding of what it is. So, how do you feel about Palestinians and the whole conflict going on? There? It's ironic because they're the ones voting to keep Biden in, and then Biden is, is wants World War Three. That's their that's their plan to uh, create one world government under UN control. It was clearly outlined by uh, Confederate General Albert Pike in 1860. He wrote a letter to Je Giuseppe Bussini, a Freemason in, in Italy, he said. Three war wars to overthrow all governments and establish one world government under UN control. And he identified the first world war, the second world war, and the final war was between Christianity and Islam. And so, 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 so you voted for the person that's going to promote, that's promoting all the, the the massacre of your people. So, so I felt that that was ironic. You come here, vote illegally. Vote for people that are the only people you're voting for someone for just because they're going to allow illegal immigration, and the net effect is they're causing this war and causing all your your people to be all essentially genocided. So, and then, and then, uh, so what are you doing? You're supposed to support the Constitution. If you did, then uh, someone strong would have come up that would have said no World War Three. Everybody has a right to sovereignty, like a John F. Kennedy. See, it's going to be all, <laughs> this is all Islamic people, <laughs> people that are enemies of the Constitution. Man, I
We have a lot of those. Um, for example, the lady that just screamed at him and said right. that it, what we're a, doing is illegal. I would suggest, and it may be a little bit of an extreme suggestion, but I would suggest that anybody who lives here and does not know our rights, that to lose if you know they, right. that, that, like okay, this gentleman man. here is an enemy I disagree of the with you. These are winners. These are the ultimate winners, and you know, you're the loser, sir. That, that's my opinion. Thank, I, thank you. you for that. Thank you. That makes him, in my you. opinion, an enemy of the Constitution because exactly. he's trying to tear so down I'm, I'm the talking rights down, that we have. I talk to a lot of people, they laugh at it. You're a conspiracy. Well, you know what? You know what you're doing to us? You're engaging treason to commit uh, conspiracy to commit treason against the people of the United States. And you're being trained to deny that by just laughing people off as conspiracy theorists. Yep. So in essence, what this is, is that uh, your crime is conspiracy to commit treason. And vote illegally and come here and subvert our constitution when you don't have the right to vote. And, and, you're, you're, and you're being told, and then the purpose of that is then to uh, get, guess, essentially get us all depopulated. It was clear under Agenda 2030, the world, Bill Gates, you two is equal to too many people. There's only be 200 million people alive. So that means that you are taking part in a conspiracy to go not only commit treason, but like murder. That's your crimes. And then you're laughing at me, the victim, and you're being told to say that, discredit that your victim is just being a, a conspiracy theorist. Well, you know what? Saying conspiracy theorists is not a defense to be the crimes of treason. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, they'll just put any label on you to make exactly. you seem crazy. So you know what? You're telling me that? Well, you're, you're a conspirator. You're committing conspiracy with treason, which is a capital, capital punishment. Well, how would you like if I come, came to your country, tried to overthrow your, your constitution mm -hmm. and, and try to impose a world dictatorship of foreign bankers don't want to kill everybody and steal everything. I'm the ultimate criminal for doing that. And you're, you're being, and you're being, uh, you're engaging in a denial mechanism that you're doing that by calling people conspiracy theorists. That's the reality. And so maybe you should broadcast this and wake these people up. That's what you're doing. When you come here, vote illegally. If I came to your country and did that, that'd be a crime. I'm trying to, I'm violating your constitution. Well, a lot of countries have put you in prison for trying to manipulate right. the voting. Yeah. Out here, it's just, eh, whatever. Right. So. Yeah, we've caught people pulling ballots out of boxes during the primaries, so. Right, so I want to tell you that uh, you're the dis ultimate criminal. And you're talking to your victims right now. who are trying to stand up for their rights. And that's all you can do in America anymore. Just stand up for your rights so you don't lose them. Right. And so let these people know, hey, when you're doing that, that's what you're doing. We know what you're doing. You may be told this by the very perpetrators of the crime. You don't need to get all up on sir, me like that, sir. We told you earlier, leave us alone. No. Leave us alone. I'm not touching. I'm not doing anything to you. Yeah, you're doing Get nothing. Out of my you face. walked up to us and Nobody harassed us. Stop yeah, he struck him. me. Hey, that stop guy assaulted me. Do you know traitor. why? Because you assaulted him. Hey, you are no. a traitor to this country. It's on your camera. You Go. assaulted sure. me. Bro, get you out of here. Very ungodly for, for a no Christian. Reason. Get a pedicure. You're very scam. ungodly. You guys, uh, get a pedicure, bro. Look at him. Do you even know what Antifa stands for? I'm being very aggressive for no reason. No, I'm not. I'm just doing it. Yes, you are. You attacked me. It's time for a pedicure. Sir, you left an hour ago and came back to harass us. No, I came back to document you. You came back to harass us. No, you're harassing. You're in our I'm face. We never got in yours. If you're not harassing him, take a step back, sir. I'm, I'm not going to shut the f*** up. Take a step he said, back, take a step back. No, no, no. I would not Put your hearing aids in, speech. man. I told you to take a not step back. Not when it back. becomes assault. Not when it becomes assault. Terrorists. You guys are... You're the
Yes, you, you came up to us terrorizing us. Sir, you, are a you, to our you assaulted Sir. me, struck me three times. He struck you because once. Because you, you grabbed my wig. I did. That's illegal. Is that that is battery. It well, well, is an extension of You can't grab, grab his stuff. Yeah, You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Your brain is tiny, bro. Look at you. You're not us, man. The cops are actually looking for you. Did you grab his wig? Is that true? You can't grab people's stuff. Yeah, so you can't do that. You disrespected him first. So you need to. You battered me. I don't believe anything you say. So call the cops again. So call the cops. I am not the cops. You don't believe us. You are a traitor to our nation. But I know you cannot grab someone. You are a traitor to the Constitution. No, we're not. You are a traitor to the Constitution. You can make this a scam. I think you're a scam and you're anti. Who's holding anyone up? I'm here holding you up. Exercising our rights in a peaceful manner, and you decided to battery me. I'm here to exercise Batter. my right. Batter. When you Batter. strike somebody, <laughs> he Battery. physically struck me three times. Are you times. saying he's do you, a threat? I had to push you off he of the absolute. Do you know what, sir? Is he a threat now? No, I told you I'm going to lay yeah, you down if you touch me again. So why are you still here? Why aren't you walking away? And Go I'm, away. Because I'm not afraid of If he's of a threat, why don't you just walk away? He's a threat, but I'm not afraid. Then no, it's sir, not a threat. Be the bigger man and walk away. The law says you have to be in fear of your life for it to be a threat. Don't antagonize You're a lawyer? You think I believe a thing you say? You don't have to believe me. I know what I'm about what that. I know is this is a scam. Okay. What, what are you talking about? Our rights what is scam is he talking about? Oh yeah, standing up for our constitution <laughs> is way more important. Whoever did your, your pedicure scam you, bro? Uh, you're Look at them. The constitution the There's scam. nothing to manipulate. Whoever did your pedicure scam hey, you, bro? Your cops just went by. Can you get away from me? You keep approaching no, I'm me. Not gonna get you away. keep approaching me. Get away from me. the young man. Are you? A he Why is. Look at him. I'm doing what you're doing. Get the away from me bro I'm doing what don't try and touch me Any, you're just being a creep quit going after the little man huh? you're being a creep oh i'm being a creep you are being Hell a creep. Yeah. I believe you just walked up to us some of the people that have come by here today look, think you guys look are you sure they're enjoying the scene 30 minute conversation yeah. with somebody right before you pulled up Huh? 30 minute long nice conversation before you pulled up yeah i got 30 minutes right here yes okay. right do you understand what they're doing it's a scam. They're trying to a scam? What scam is he talking about, bro? He must have... You the whole situation the first time you came. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what they're doing. They believe they have a right. We do it's have a right. It's not we believe. No, we no. do have a right. No, I know. I they, agree they, with they, you. They, they I agree with you. They do have a right. And they're yes. manipulating the right so that they can scam people. What? Well, they have a right. Who are we scamming? You said we're holding people up. Which, we're not robbing anyone. We're scamming people. Oh, yeah. We'll There's nothing. They don't even know who you are. How they no, they, they're they they're wrapped my car. <laughs> because you battered. You walked out unprovoked and you battered them. I know. I'm, I'm aware of groups like that. They're out there. How they're dressed. But they can dress however they want. No, we'd rather leave people to the hands of the education. For sure. And TikTok. For sure. I'm sure. And TikTok. It will be. It will be. So, 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 so. Let's make amends and make it look yeah. good, right? You came, you saw us, we conquered, right? Sorry, I told you to do it. That's cool. 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 But you agree that they have a right to be. She's happy it got resolved. Look at that. We love to see it. What's going on over here? Yeah, you're good. You can take it. We're in public. You can take video, anything you see. You got some bystanders. You want to know why I have the beard on? Yeah, you could come closer too and take a video. Oh, dang, the situation just. Uh... Oh, we're just recording everyone that comes to the post office today. Mm hmm. You get a selfie? Oh, no, you're good, you're good. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. <laughs> get them in the selfie, too. Hey, you trying to get in the selfie? Yeah. Yeah, get them in the selfie, too. You get everyone in there. <laughs> yeah, everyone getting this over. There you go. I was trying to have her include everyone. Hey, uh huh. 
You have a nice day. Now, mind you guys, we are on the sidewalk, and they have another sidewalk right here that we're not on. Yeah, they're locking the doors now. Closing the blinds? No way. Oh, wow. Did they close the bank down? They closed the bank down. Why would you close the bank down? They are legit closing the bank down. Oh, uh, they are? Oh, damn. I love how he shut the branch down, but then he left all of his customers in the ATM vestibule, which he also locked. I don't know what's going to happen here. Like, is he holding them hostage? So these dudes are on lockdown right now. The bank manager closed the door. No, uh, 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 stay here. This is way more. What about my shirt tells me close your bank? Hey, thank you so much. You guys are so helpful every time I see you. Thank you very much. They got cameras everywhere over here. Like, look at it. You just walk by this building, you're getting filmed on the sidewalk. And everybody needs a little attention. She was camp bagging us. She's getting a package. She's putting a sign up on the window, but it wouldn't stick. I don't know what it says. Hey, we just gave them a day off. Like, you know, they get, they're like, oh, we get to do no work today because they're filming us. My question is, should we sell this service? Bank employees can call us and be like, hey, can you come fill my bank so I can get a day off where we just sit here and do nothing all day? I'm not fully grasping why they would close a bank down. to uh, maintain if you ask those questions yeah the sheriff that had the camera and the boom mic right here he hates us just despises all bad hey gentlemen how you doing It looks like he's the manager and he was just shaking his head that his employees shut down the whole bank. <laughs> Did he say you guys are fine? Yeah, like he said something like that. He's like, hey, how you guys doing? And I was like, damn, bro. Well, while you were gone, your employees closed down the bank. Like, wow. Let's take some video of the beautiful faces coming in. I like your new camera. That's sick. I don't want to talk to He still does not like you. He hates us so much. Hey, 
Good morning. How you guys doing? Just taking some video. How you doing? Hey puppy. Okay, no, no, stay, stay, stay. Welcome to the movement. <laughs> we are a new recruit. Well, let's see here. So are you I think she's trying to figure out how to join too. Well, I don't know what to do. With, I'm not. I'm not really. So is that an iPhone? Uh, yeah. If you, oh, they're iPhone guys. I'm if you turn it off. <laughs> yeah, just, there you go. I have no idea. <laughs> No, no, but for future reference, that's actually really good to know how to turn on your camera so quickly because it's important. Yeah. You never know what situation is going to yeah, arise where you want to. No, that's a, yeah, yeah, you I gotta get my it. finger out of the way. Okay. Just press it and then. Okay, now I can do it, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, guys. Wait, wait, you're so cute. I'll put you in. <laughs> there you go. You have a beautiful day, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye. Okay, okay. We helped her figure out her phone. <laughs> <laughs> we had to train her how to do camebacks. That was kind of funny. <laughs> how are you doing this morning? How are you doing, man? good. Happy. Yep. Hope so. Are you going to your faces? Well, the last time you asked a question, I tried answering. You just kept walking. So I don't really have any interest in... What are you filming for? We're reminding people that, about the lack of privacy and that if you want to demand privacy when you are out in public, you have to create it yourself. You shouldn't hide your face. What's that? See your faces. Yeah. Hi. All right. They're, they're creating privacy by hiding your face. Exactly. That's, it could cause some trouble and be not, not identified. We're not, and you're creating a disturbance, not me. I'm not causing any trouble. Are they going to help me? No, stay away from these guys. They're clowns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go in. They'll help you inside. Captain America doesn't like their rights. Good morning. <laughs> How you doing? Get that out of my face. I'm not in your face, sir. What's going on here? We're just taking uh, videos. Are taking pictures of the public? No, you're not. Here we are. Yeah, we're not disturbing anybody. We're just taking video of and disseminating our interactions with other humans. Let's talk about that. How am I being rude? Yeah, let's talk about it. This is my privacy. You don't have privacy in public, which is why we're here. We educate people about Take the lack of privacy. Take that mask off. Take those glasses off and talk to me. Absolutely not. Oh, you can do the same with us. Create your own privacy in public. Uh, like, take your jacket off. Take your shorts off. Like. Okay. Hey, I've been here for 10 seconds. If you touch me, I will let you out. Do not do that again. Okay, bud. Take your meds this morning. You need to chill out, man. I did not get all up in your face. You got all up in my face. Everything okay at home? Idiot, man. If you want to film with us, that's fine. Do your thing, but you don't have to be three inches from my face. I absolutely respect you. Continue doing that. Appreciate it. Just you don't have to get all up in our face. Have a wonderful day. Okay. What in the holy hell? I don't know what that was, but okay. All right. Apparently, so Cali is in there pissing everybody off already. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> is he even here? I just took the video of the flag and I just walked up and then we encountered that guy. I hadn't even started yet. Like, I had to push record and I'm like, what is that? It's like, I thought it was so Cali for a second. Up the what the hell? Three seconds. <laughs> so the post office started playing music in there right now. Doesn't work, guys. Whoever told you that that's how you do this. 
And it's funny because people send us the screenshots to the Dana Point page, Mission Viejo, all the places every time we come here. And people are like, oh, just play music. They can't do anything. Wrong. It comes right out. She was really nice. I just got here and get the thing real quick. Bro, I thought you I thought you were already here and I thought you already pissed off somebody. Yeah. Because we get here and some dude comes out all closed up and starts camera what the hell? Yeah, we thought you were already inside. You ever get it? No, peace sign. I told you it's. You're in. You are in public. Get the. Do not tread on me. Don't tread. You don't deserve that hat. You're treading on my First Amendment right. No, you don't even know the First Amendment right. What's the First Amendment right? Don't tread on you. You don't deserve that hat, sir. You're the one wearing the mask. And you're the idiot that needs to sit on whatever you're lifting up right now. You're the one sitting with the mask. Hey, in your next lifetime, try brushing your teeth. They won't all fall out. You have a beautiful day. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. What's this for? Uh, we just do public photography through the exercise in our first member rights and reminding people you're always being filmed in public and that everywhere you go, you're, I mean, you're just walking down the street, you're being filmed over 50, 60 times. And that, you know, if you want to demand privacy, you got to create it yourself. And just, you know, we also remind people to be careful with the information that you have out. Everyone has cameras nowadays. Right, and, yeah. All right, hang in there. Yeah, absolutely. You have a beautiful day, sir. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. You have a good day, sir. Likewise. I'm not sure if he was angry or just indifferent, but at least he didn't accost us. Wizard said he was laughing, so that's a good sign. He came over here to... He was looking at me, but he's not cam back at me. He looks like he's on the phone. Created his own privacy. Have a good day, ma'am. Have a good day, sir. Yep. What? Go on in there, you like, they're just trying to get onto your skin. You're the puppy. Thank you for asking, but now you're good. I, I love the adorable little puppy you got there. It's adorable pups. <laughs> you, I'm standing up here against this wall. Oh, actually, right here. Like he was like right here. And he was like in my face. I'm like that's not a thing. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so what do you guys 
Oh, uh, we just do public photography and filming, reminding people that you're being filmed over a hundred times a day when you leave your house, and that if you want to demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. And then we also uh, remind people to be mindful, like when you're on your phone screens, just be mindful of what you have on your screen, because even with this phone right here, which is this is just a phone, right. I could be across the street and I could zoom in to your phone screen and see personal information, text messages, bank login, things like that. So we're reminding people to just be more aware of your surroundings because you are being filmed so often. So thank you. I mean, I know because it's like when you get in your car. Oh, three minutes to your, where you're going, your home or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You have a beautiful day. Thank well, you. My thank name you. is Jake. <laughs> no you have problem. a wonderful day. <laughs> yep. Have a good day. Well, good luck. Yep. Absolutely. You have a beautiful day. Oh, we're just taking a video of everyone coming in, reminding them that you're always being filmed in public. And yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. We came here to capture your beautiful smile. Okay. You're good, man. You're good. Go ahead. You guys can do it. I can do it. Yeah. No, absolutely. Thank you for joining the movement. I appreciate it. Taking the self service option, that's a good idea because the workers in there are fire starters today. You have a good day, ma'am. You have a good day, sir. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. What are you doing? I was just taking pictures and video of the public. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just reminding people you're always being filmed in public and to be careful with all of your personal identifying information. And if you want to demand privacy, you got to keep it yourself. You guys have a beautiful day. You have a beautiful day. You too. Hey, baby. <laughs> you love the bee. You have a beautiful day. Um, we just do public photography and filming through the exercise of our rights and then also remind people that, you know, if you want privacy in public, you have to create yourself and to be mindful of personal information that you have on your phone while you have all the cameras everywhere. Yeah, all that good stuff. You guys have a beautiful day. Yeah, you think it's okay to do this there? Um, you're covered up too, man. You have a good day, sir. Have a good day, sir. Mm -hmm. You guys have a good day. <laughs> What's up, Kevin? Oh, just 
sake in a video of everybody coming in and out today, reminding them you're always being filmed, and if you're going to ask a question, you should probably stay for the answer. I mean, if you're going to ask a question, at least stay for the answer, right? Like, What's going on? Uh, we're just doing uh, public filming and photography through the exercising of your First, Ameri First Amendment rights. Reminding people that there's no privacy in public anymore. How do you walk up into his face demanding he get out of your face? accessible buttons here. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing today? You have a beautiful smile. I'm going to put makeup on if I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, sometimes you got to do that. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Doing uh, public filming and photography through the exercising of your First American rights or First Amendment rights. <laughs> I said that backwards, but hey, that works. You're doing what? <clears throat> Sorry, I had to take a drink. <laughs> um, no, we're just doing public filming and photography through the use of our First Amendment rights. But and what's it for? What do you we do? remind people that if you want to demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself due to how often we're being filmed now and be careful with oh. your personal information Absolutely. when you are up. So I should be wearing a mask. <laughs> hey, you, Thank you. you have a good day, ma'am. <laughs> I had a little tickle in my throat on that one, guys. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh. You guys have a beautiful day. Thank you. Absolutely. doing some public filming, capturing all the beautiful smiles coming in today. <laughs> you have a beautiful day, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing today? That's good, that's good. This should be interesting. She blocked the driveway to yell at um, symbol over it. And then came back to us for like a whole ass minute. Oh, there it is again. Can I ask them why you guys? Absolutely you can ask. Okay, thank you. So through the exercising of my First Amendment rights as well as your First Amendment rights, we are doing what's called public photography and filming. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't need to get in people's faces. That's, you know, we're not doing well, that. Why are you wearing masks? 
because we're allowed to. But why would you? You don't have to get all in people's faces. That's disrespectful, ma'am. But it, it's not against the law. No, you're right. But you know, I'm trying to be cordial and have a conversation because you ask questions, oh. and not, <laughs> and not only. Oh, but not only did you walk away, now your back's turned. No, no, you're allowed to be curious, but okay. you know, let's be respectful about it in both directions. So through the exercising of our First Amendment rights and your First Amendment rights. I may agree with you. Okay, well, yeah, so we are doing public photography and filming and reminding people that you're being filmed every time you leave the house over 100 times a day. And that if you want and you walk around demanding privacy in public, that you have to create it yourself. I can't be responsible for your privacy. And then we also remind people to be vigilant of the information that you have available either on your phone or that you carry around with you. Because I can sit across the street even with my cell phone and I can zoom in and see everything on your screen. And so we just remind people to be mindful of what you have on your screen. But ma'am, I've explained it and you keep not listening, you keep interrupting, you keep engaging. Because I'm intrigued by everything. And that's fine, but you know, if you want to have the conversation, have the conversation. If not, then don't. My kids were in the Air Force. That's good. Thank you. Thank them for the service. Okay. Yeah. I, I finished, but you weren't listening to it. It's about privacy. Yeah. But it's the same thing as like if I'm across the street, I can zoom in on your phone screen and see everything you have, text message, emails, your banking information. So it's just a way to remind people to be vigilant of everything that you expose yourself to when you're out in public. So personal information, well, your son. We already know that. Not, not everybody remembers it. I have this conversation 100 times a day and people are like, oh, wow, I forgot about that. And not everybody So knows. you're just assuming well, that everybody knows that and they don't. Old. I know that. Yeah, there's a lot of young A lot of old people, people don't know that either. A lot of older people don't know it either. Young people don't know either. So we're leaving the youth, you know, we're educating the youth. Well, you know, people aren't born learning, knowing our constitutional rights, nor is it taught in school. You know, the, your cause is so vague. I explained it's it in vague. so much no, detail to no. you. Okay, say it again. Say let, it again. Me, let me try. Let me try. Can I try? Okay, let, let, okay. Yeah. We're just out here to see if, uh, we're just here to take pictures to see if our right to record is respected. That's it. But obviously they are. Not really. You, you, you see You'd be surprised. Ten minutes ago, we I just got assaulted for it. Not only that, I just, got, not really I just got assaulted like five minutes ago. You did? How for exercising your rights. Yeah, someone hit my phone and tried to steal it. Oh. So you can say that so it's respected, but it's actually not respected. Like paparazzi, then. I mean, and you, you could view. Now we're journalists. We just record experiences. Oh, okay. okay, got it, and, got, it got uh, it. If you don't exercise your rights, you lose your rights. They get taken from you. I see. An example, like, my rights were not respected because he hit my phone because I was filming, so he had an issue with my rights. And we're here, you know, recording our experience. That's so we're getting a mix of both. Some people do respect them, some people don't. And, but that's, you know, that's your I, duty. I, I don't know. This is so unnecessary, I think. You're, you're I think it's well, absolutely, absolutely necessary. I think it's necessary. So you don't think, you don't think First Amendment rights need to be exercised or used? Oh, absolutely, but, but that's what I we're doing. We are exercising our rights. Kind of a, a strange place, a strange. Uh, not, really, not really, because so there well, okay, should, there, should there should not be a limitation. There should not be a limitation on venue strange? or place. I don't know because you're all masked up. Well, it's that's part privacy. of the educational process. This is for our privacy. And to teach people that you expect privacy, and like right, you gotta okay, create it yourself. Right. And where is this gonna go? It's gonna go on YouTube. Um, YouTube? Yeah. Well, we have different outlets, and I use YouTube. TikTok, so. Instagram, social media for the most part. And you have a following? Yes, we do. Oh, darn. Huh. Pretty large ones, I too. I didn't learn anything, you guys. Sorry. No, no. That's okay. because you were unwilling to learn. You no. interrupted the entire time. Ma'am, but I've been listening. Ma'am, you interrupted okay. the entire time no, I was no, speaking. Okay. You kept turning okay. your back to me. You kept getting no, in our faces. No, but I'm here now. Yeah, and I'm here now. And and you, you okay, hold on. Let me ex hold on. Everybody, stop for a second. Let me explain it. why you didn't learn anything. Let me explain why you didn't learn anything. I just told you that from across the street, I can zoom in and get all your personal information. We know that already. Okay, but you're not practicing who, who your own privacy. Who's How, you've shown who's me the. You've what shown you, me your address, ma'am. You have shown me your address like four times since we've been. Okay, I guess I don't care. We you keep, you keep saying and there's a problem. You guys don't leader. care. You should care. You don't speak on behalf of everybody. Yeah, you, who appointed you the leader? Well, who appointed you? I didn't say I was the leader. You're oh, you keep saying we. Like double we know top. that. We know oh, that. We know just, that. Okay. You guys did not make points. Yeah, I'm just sorry. go inside. You're a little too dense to understand. I know. I know. See, now you've insulted me. 
Ma'am, you've um, insulted me the in insults. You've you insulted guys, me the entire conversation God by asking me a you. question and then walking All away guys. halfway Sorry. through the question. Okay. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Thank you. What are you guys up to? We do public photography and the exercising of our rights. Oh. Yep. Well. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> yep. She got warned that we're filming. How you doing today? Good, good. What's that? What's the uh, we're just doing uh, through the exercise of our First Amendment rights, doing public photography as they continue walking in and don't want to listen. People like to ask and don't want the answer, so they just keep walking. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'd be happy to share. Hey, did we get paid union scale? <laughs> no insurance. You guys have a beautiful day. <laughs> How you doing today, ma'am? No, no, stop. Wow, a bunch of whackers. Whackers? Yep. Why is it? Why, why are you being judgy? You're so insulting. Why are you filming all this? Do you were, hold on, do you want the real answer to that? Or are you... I want the real answer. Okay, so we are doing public photography through the exercising of my First Amendment rights and your First Amendment rights and reminding people that if you want and demand privacy when you're out in public, you have to create it yourself. And part of this process is educating people about how many times we are filmed every time we leave the house over 100 times a day without your knowledge or consent. So that's all we do. It's educational. Why, why don't you guys have uh, your glasses off and your mask down? So you just missed half of what I talked about. If you want and demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. So today, I'm demanding my privacy in public, so I have to create that privacy myself. So for privacy, for sure. So why are you invading someone else's privacy because you want your privacy? Okay, you so to invade something, you have to have privacy in the first place. You don't have that in public. So I can't invade something that you don't have. Whackers. Whackers me. Damn, she just pushed her way past him. I thought I hit her. What are you guys up to? I was just doing some public filming and photography. Yeah? Just doing public filming and photography. Public filming? Yep. Through the exercising of our rights. I, I never heard about that. You never heard of public You never heard of a right? I heard of rights, but I didn't know public filming. Public photography? Oh, it's, it's public it's great. We go out and take pictures in public, say the post office, library, oh, sidewalk. Okay, do I get a residual for this? No, no not in public. public. You're in public. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you think that? Mm -hmm. Where'd you read that? Mine. Mm -hmm. I like the back, though, like my sideways. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Looking fresh, man. I done it. I live over there. Why do, you, why do you think you have the authority to tell people to go away? We don't give that out. We don't, just, just go on, just go on YouTube, YouTube and search up First Amendment on Auditing. YouTube, just search up First Amendment Auditors and you should be able to find those. You don't give out your website? Absolutely uh, not. You, you, want, to you want your rights, but nobody else has rights. What well, are you talking about? There is no right to privacy, right so we're not taking rights away from you. We're exercising yeah, your rights. Yeah, you are, because you're taking my picture. And, There's and no you, right to privacy. That's not one of the rights. You can... Do whatever you want with Absolutely. my picture. Absolutely. So can every other camera that takes your video all day. Well, nobody takes my picture. Well, you, every business you work by does. It has already been proven that every time you leave your house, you're being filmed over a hundred times a day. I don't believe that. Not around here. Absolutely. Well, every building has cameras. Here, every Tesla right? has cameras. Do your neighbors have cameras on their house? They, they could be recording you. There's Teslas that your neighbors probably have that are recording you. I hate when people say uh, there's more productive things you can do for your time, and that is a crazy assumption. Excuse me. Taking a video. Why? Just hey, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Don't try and touch me like that. The fuck is wrong with fuck you? Back up. Get the, the fuck is wrong with you? Don't try and grab my shit. Fuck you. Don't try and grab my shit. You're a fucking ignorant mother. Touch him again, I will fucking drop you. Oh, fuck. Fuck you fool. Fuck You're an idiot. You're an idiot. What are you doing that for? Because I have American rights, thank you. Are you stupid? Bye, idiot. Hit his mark. We're in a car trying to help. Bye, idiot. Let you guys have a life. Yeah, let's get his life. You are. Brush your teeth. That smells like poop. Let me write down the license plate. Go ahead and put that. And that's why we do this. We exercise our rights because idiots like you. 
fucked up and he said, what are you doing? Who are you? And I just told him I'm recording everybody and he tried to grab the camera. So. Yeah, I just heard you. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we usually do, but we were dealing with a situation that dude just attacked him. So. Okay. No, no, it's fine. It's just, it's why we're out here. You know, you got to respect people's rights. But you have a beautiful day. What's the language? What's this? Varsi? I love it. It sounds beautiful. You guys have a good day. You're not a cop. How are you asking for somebody's ID, you idiot? Is that what they used to do back in like the 60s? It's like, give up your rights? No, I want to know what you're operating under. Are you operating under free speech? Yeah. Oh, that's our own privacy. That's also my name. First Amendment. No, I'm fixing the past in general. Ma'am, you got somebody behind you. <laughs> hey, I love the smile. Beautiful smile. No, I'll pack this better. What happened? I went you. Yes. No, I'm YouTuber. Oh, are you? Yes, and these are very interesting. What do you? What do you? What kind of YouTube? Just. I'm a business coach. Nice. That's wonderful. And you have GoPro. And what is it? So this is a 360, so it sees everything around me. So we'll sometimes have people come up behind us, it films it. And what is it, the yellow one, the black and the... Uh, this is just a radio, so I can communicate with each other. Uh, you know, I have a microphone. Nice. But it's different, yes? Yeah? This iPhone? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, for oh, no, this is this a Oh, this, it, no, this is a uh, radio, so I can radio each other. Uh-huh. You, you talk to yes. each other. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, I, I have a microphone role, and uh -huh. when I want to talk to others, nice. uh, I, you know, my English is not good. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 you're fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Uh, I got uh, I got video from you for my channel. No, you're good, you're good, you're good. Hey. What's your channel? What's your channel? First, at first you tell me, after that I tell you. <laughs> hey, you have a beautiful day. Have a good day. Hello, ma'am. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. You too. Bye -bye. You have a beautiful day, sir. <laughs> we just uh, through the exercising of our First Amendment rights and your First Amendment rights, we do public uh, filming and photography. 
to remind people that you are constantly being recorded over a hundred times a day when you leave your house now, and that if you want and demand a privacy in public, that you have to create it yourself. So I think this is uncomfortable, I don't like doing it, but I wear it to kind of send that message. It's like, we'll have people come up in the camera like, you can't film me, and this is part of the exercise. If you don't want to be filmed in public, guess what? You have to create your privacy. I can't create your privacy for you, so. No, I just, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. No, absolutely. It's kind of interesting. You have a beautiful day, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you for asking in a very respectful, kind way. Yeah. You forgot the key? Forgot the key. Damn. Not sure. <laughs> so that You have a good day, ma'am. Thank you. Yep. She has such a beautiful smile. <laughs> oh, hi. You have hi, such hi. a beautiful smile. Thank you for sharing it. <laughs> what you guys up to today? So we're just through the end. What is it? Filming. So through the exercising of our First Amendment rights, we're doing public filming and photography and that we oh. remind people that you're being filmed over 100 times a day every time you leave the house. That's true. And that if you want and demand your privacy in public, you have to look ridiculous like me and wear this situation. Hmm. You know what I mean? So we, we have some people that will come up screaming, you can't film me. I'm like, no, you're wrong. wrong. And so we remind them that if you don't want to be filmed in public, you have to wear this. You know we're filmed I mean? as we go down the street. Oh yeah, and every Tesla that pulls up next to you. Uh, I think streetlights even have cameras now, Absolutely, right? absolutely. Terrible. So you have a beautiful day. Thank you for asking in a very respectful way. Yeah, I was just curious. No, you did fine. That's how we should communicate with one another. Exactly how you did just that. Be teaching people, right? Absolutely. Thanks. You have a gorgeous day. You guys have a gorgeous day. Yep. Hey, ma'am. All in galaxy. This is. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? Excellent, sir. I love your glasses. Thank you. Uh-huh. Appreciate that. Is that a reminder to walk privacy? Yeah, you have to create it yourself. Yes, sir. Makes sense. How you guys doing today? Look at that truck. That was a beautiful truck. Beautiful cam back there with that iPhone.
after minutes of talking about it, they finally did it. Talking about what? The movie. And going away. And walking away. Yeah. But when we first got here, they're like, oh, should we walk away? And he's like, ah, we'll just wait for them to go. And they finally went. This person installed a camera on their porch. That's <laughs> another example. You're being filmed everywhere you go. yourselves huh your parents yeah, are probably is. so proud this is awesome man you guys are making such a good living of it this is so cool where's the instagram page i can see this all is there do you guys have well, you would have come in a good manner we would have given it out but you came like a little ass smart ass so. <laughs> little asshole yeah. smart ass is the dude wearing a fucking mask you guys are such fucking yeah, have a good day sir i'm here to real fucking you're making a whole kinds of wild assumptions and you know nothing about, about any of them. Why are you guys hiding your faces? Just show your face. I just explained it to you. We're do you know where you're talking Hold on, do you know what country boy? you live in? Yeah, I do. Hey, we're in America. You, yeah, I know. I, I have the curious. freedom to wear a mask just like you have the freedom to wear pants. I can't believe you're proud of yourself for this. Exactly. Right. See, and I can't oh, believe oh, you're oh, proud oh, of yourself oh, for being an idiot. This is what a dumb ad's like, everybody. You literally explained it to him twice and he just started getting mad. I explained it to him calmly. This is what a little looks like right here. I know, of course he went up to me. All of us. I know. He waited for you guys to he leave. He waited for us to leave to go up to the little guy. Like, what the fuck? He's a little puss. It, 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 yo, it is true. Like, he went up to you again. Come he on, waited man. for us all to separate. Literally, he just waited for us all to separate. So he has this car, Mr. Ingus. He waited for the four of us to separate and then went up to the smallest of the group to demand answers in a very prickish way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not bothering anybody. You have a good day. Stay safe. You might want to go help him. His feelings are hurt. <laughs> She's over here now. I wonder why. That's weird. I feel like days on vu for a second. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I forgot she moved. So the one that's concerned about us wearing a mask has one of the most annoying exhausts in the world. He puts a little lawnmower Honda Civic exhaust on his BMW. There's a little Ford Ranger guy that needs a lot of help. You could hear the exhaust. His manifold is no longer attached. I felt the side of my neck burning. She was just staring at me over there. I got zip ties on here. I wonder what the zip ties are for. They're not holding anything. That is a menacing amount of dogs. Are those all yours? No. Oh, I was say. That's a menacing amount of dogs. Why are you doing this? I don't want to be filmed. Oh. Truly, that's not very cool for you to film people. Why are you guys doing this? 
So we're just doing an exercise of your First Amendment rights out here filming in public and reminding people that if you want to demand privacy in public, you have to create it yourself. Oh, well, I am. It says ask the question. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I think it's offensive for some people. Offensive? Well, I mean, they don't really want to be on camera. You're on camera every building you drive by, every Tesla that pulls up next to you is okay, filming well, you? if I had a chance to say something to them, I would. Well... You're in public, though. There's no expectation of privacy. All right. Well, I'm just thinking about what you guys are doing. We are. We do it every day. <laughs> I was over there, they're coming from over there, I don't know. Oh, so you guys are just all together, you just happen to be having all your cameras and everything? We, uh, no. we ran into it, I don't, I don't, we don't know him. We just run into each other right now. Are you guys, are you guys sick? Do you guys have a disease or something? They don't, they don't know. No. You never know, but I wouldn't have to disclose that if I did. <laughs> I, I respect that. Alright. Uh, what are we filming today? It's strange how you all have like face masks on and hoodies, yeah. and we're like, don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you your are, that's, that's your free. That's your free. But that's your free choice. And you're videoing us. But that's your free choice. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's just weird. So our, our, our anarchists. Which weird. one? I'm not saying. Uh, we're not. Anything. We just film in public. Yeah. For yeah. for what purpose? You guys got got a YouTube channel. You guys trying to be influencers? What's going on? Uh, we don't have to disclose that. Right? Okay. All right. Yeah, you don't have to disclose anything. I'm just I can share friendly, with you some sure, information. Just have a friendly conversation. No, that's fine. I'll yeah. share with you some information. If I showed up at your uh, on, the, on the sidewalk in front of your house and I was no. and I, with a camera, array is this like your this, house? If if I was filming okay. in front of your house, you probably want to ask me some questions, right? No, really. I'd probably leave you alone, but yeah. you know. Okay. All right. But I'm not in front of your house no, unless no, you live no, here. No, 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 you're not at all. You're okay. just dressed like bandits, and you got a lot of I'm dressed like a bandit. Yeah. What movies are you watching? Sunglasses are got full wrap around sunglasses. What movies are you watching that the bandits look like this though? Okay, you got a good point there. I'll, I will concede that. Point. Okay, all but right. no, let me share a little bit. Okay, so please do. Through the exercising of mine and your First Amendment rights, we do public filming are, are and you, photography. Are you, are you in favor of First Amendment rights? Absolutely. Okay, then you and I have a lot in common. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we also remind people that everywhere you go now, you're being filmed in public, whether you like it or not. Okay. And that if you want and you demand a privacy while you're out in public, it's up to you to create the level of privacy that you want. Okay. I think this is ridiculous, but it's also ridiculous that we have people come up and demand their privacy from us in public. That's oh. just as ridiculous. Have I made any demands of you? No, 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 you're yeah. fine. Okay. But just I'm just giving an example. Yeah, yeah. In general, okay. all day we deal with people that okay. do that. That's what I was trying to get at. Yeah. Uh, you clearly have an agenda. You clearly have a purpose. That's the you, purpose. Yeah. I wouldn't call it an agenda. It's just an exercise of our rights because they get taken from us if we don't well, use them. That, that, that splitting hairs in a, an agenda just means you've got a plan, you've got a purpose, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. I've got a plan and purpose too. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge advocate for uh, individual natural rights. Okay. And uh, so you guys can film me. You guys can film anywhere you want, anytime yeah. you want. Yeah. Have you have you tried filming any police activity yet? We oh, do all yeah. the time, every day. Are, are, are you part of that uh, group? What do they call themselves? The First uh, Amendment auditors. Yeah. Do you do Actually, that? So we do. We yesterday. do participate in that as well. Okay. Yeah. Well, yesterday I, I, I recorded two police cars and yeah. one helicopter in one scene. Good. Well, I salute you guys then. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway. I appreciate it. I want. Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Though? Sure. I like. I like your views so far. I like how honest you've been. I wanted to know, like, come November fourth, who are you voting for? We're just doing a poll. We, part of what we do. Uh, I'm gonna write in my cat. Perfect. Understandable. Because, because voting is a scam. Okay. It's been perpetrated on us since the beginning. Uh, since voting first began. I forget who it was that said that. I care not who votes, I only care who counts the votes. And that says it all. So I'm a big advocate, I guess you could call it. And I'd rather have my handyman be president than any of the rich and powerful people yeah, yeah. that are already how, rich. How come the only, we're always given two choices in any election. And I talk about that's, that as well. The two party system is very broken uh, and fractured right now. We have a choice between a billionaire with a shady background A or billionaire with a shady background B. We call that democracy. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, we may have more in common than I thought. I Absolutely. Was just no, no, you're fine. I appreciate you coming and asking. Um, and next time you want to film, you might want to get an iPhone. They're a little better for filming. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, this is crap. And it stopped filming a few minutes ago because my memory is full. Oh, <laughs> love it. Love but, it. Uh, but I appreciate the engagement. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm a huge advocate for privacy and freedom. So I, you know, no, nothing wrong with asking some questions. You're fine. Right? What's your name? Oh, yeah. Good to be curious. What's your name? I'm Bill. Bill. I'm Guy. Your, your name is Guy? My name is Guy. I love it. I love it. Peace. You hey, have a hey, wonderful hey, day. Fun. Pursue I freedom. I love oh, your yeah, hair, man. <laughs> Thanks. If you're digging my content, smash that like button on this video so the YouTube algorithm bots continue to present our important message to others. LBO. Beautiful truck. Hey. How you doing, buddy? What's going on? I'm just doing public photography and filming. Oh, cool. Getting all the beautiful smiles. Yours is the best so far. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see. Hello. Where have you been? In Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude. I'm short term memory. Long Beach is nice weather. Thank you. So the owner of this restaurant came out last time, talked to us for like 45 minutes. Right on. Let's take a video. All good, all good. God bless America. Absolutely. Yeah, bro. Cheers. 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 What are you guys filming? We just do public filming photography through the exercising of our First Amendment rights. Oh, I like it. Yep, I, agree. I, I appreciate videos. it. I appreciate it. People get so pissed off. Yeah, well, you know, it, it happens. Right? Such is life, right? Yeah. I appreciate you asking, though. No, I dig it. Keep sharing yeah. that positive attitude, man. People need that. Hey, what's up? How you doing, dude? Chilling. Good to see you. Get some food? Yeah, I got some food, a little lunch break. These guys are on it, though. How's the food here? It's all right. Yeah? Yeah. The beer is better than the food. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, the beer is way better, for sure. I've never had these. These are killer. Yeah, those are really good. What'd you get? Nice. Little bugs. Yeah. 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 Right. These are like fries their way, I guess. How's it going? 
appreciate you guys talking to us. You yeah. have a beautiful day. Enjoy your food. Thank you. All have right. What what beer did you guys get? Uh, Brewery X. Slap and tickle. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Slap and tickle. All right. It's you, got, you guys have a beautiful day. Yeah, have a good day, guys. Yeah. Enjoy it. Remember, drink one for me, right? <laughs> I don't want <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I have the mask on? <laughs> That's why we're masked. We're, we're the wanted felon crew. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a new one, appreciate it. Appreciate it bunches, thank you guys. Wow, all right. Thank you. All right, they definitely did way better than they did last time, as long as they didn't poison the water or put some x lax in there. Alright guys, we got a cam car. We got another cam car right there. She's got really nice shoes on. Okay. I love your shoes. You. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> You have a good day, ma'am. How you doing, ma'am? You have a beautiful day. Good morning. I love that you're covering your faces. You have that option. You really like No, but you have that option too. No, you're hiding behind a camera. You guys are a bunch of wusses. You should be okay. standing at a Or you can ask questions. I tried to explain and you walked away. So Okay, go ahead. Why are you taking pictures? We do public photography through the exercising of mine and now you're yours. Doing for, okay, see, and then you, but you're on a private. This isn't this private. Is a government this isn't piece private. Of and who owns the government piece of property? Oh, the public. Oh God. The public owns it, ma'am. 
I've tried to explain like three times. She just interrupts. She, this is ignorance, guys. Like she asked and then walked away like three times, and then she interrupted as I'm trying to explain. Yeah. No, no, there's rules that allow us to be here, and the cops cannot remove us. The, the cops cannot remove us. Actually, they can remove you. No, we have written permission from the Postmaster General. So they can't. They can't remove me. If you'd like to call them, they'll come and you. I mean, you can call them. They've been here twice already today. It's okay. Thank you. I've already been through your age. Anybody can be an ass. You're so patronizing. Except you're being one now instead of listening. Am and, I? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Um, I didn't give you permission. I don't need so permission. So where's my photo release? Don't need it. And you're public. Oh, I got it right here in my back pocket. One second. You're in public. You yeah, do not need one. See you, Simon? Miss. She said she knows what we have in your back. Have a good day, ma'am. Absolutely. Cool. Join us in the exercising of your rights. We're actually recruiting, so you're a new recruit. No, I just, I feel left out. Guys, she's just trying to get a reaction. Don't react. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I really do. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Yeah, I like your phone, too. Is that the new iPhone? Oh, you guys. It's green. I like the color. Yeah, everybody has I, an iPhone. You have me. no life. Okay, but I'm not insulting you. I'm telling you to have a beautiful day, and I you just keep like throwing insults. Is that that says color? more about you than it does me. Is your red your favorite color? Do not speak out of your red I told her to have a beautiful day. Are you paid for this? Uh, no. That's a Did good question. Are you going to pay us? You can pay us if Why? you want. Why would I want to pay you? I don't know. Well, you're <laughs> asking, sir. Holy cow, what's going on? Taking beautiful pictures of the beautiful smiles. Have a good day. I'm not even answering anymore when they're walking because it's like I literally will be in halfway in the explanation and they just keep going. Back up, back up. We're just doing some public filming. Oh. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Wonderful. Yeah, no, no TV, but we're just we're filming. It's a project. Oh, okay. All right, cool. How okay. tall are How tall are you? Six six. Damn. Nice. You bump your head a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do you play any sports? Your competition <laughs> impact. <laughs> I used to play a professional basketball player. Wow. Play Russia, yeah. Oh wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. That's that's amazing. You have a beautiful day. You can sit on that. That belongs in your butt. What the hell is going on? She's blocking the whole driveway? Uh, yeah, she kept screaming, what are you doing? Why are you recording? I said, why are you walking the driveway? Come on. Now she's got a cam back up. Uh-oh. 
The cam back, I'm scared, everybody hide. Run! She's getting that crooked music video angle. Uh, just doing some public photography, exercising mine and your exor uh, First Amendment rights. So I'm just going to cover myself. I don't you're fine, you're fine. Oh, she dropped it and then they covered it. <laughs> she dropped it because she went inside. I have to apologize today. My speech impediment today is a little bit amplified and I don't know why. I keep replacing words and they keep on like rear-ending each other as they're coming out of my mouth. So just a heads up, guys. Uh, hopefully you still enjoy the video.